Bonjour class et bienvenue. Welcome to our distance learning for the day. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you today. Just a few reminders. Please adjust the volume as needed. Also pause or rewind the video when necessary. <clears throat> class, make sure that you are participating fully. If your partner is not there, make sure you find one. Also, if you're the odd man out on this, you just get to practice with yourself. Or... A practice puppet where you just do it to yourself back and forth, okay? Please remember our class rules. Mouths are quiet, eyes are watching, ears are listening, body still, follow directions quickly. And just a general reminder, there is no hall pass, no phones, and no Chromebook unless it's being used for a specific activity, such as our tiny cards. So, ouvrez vos Chromebooks, s'il vous plaît, ouvrez vos Chromebooks, et allez sur tinycards.duolingo.com. So, today's lessons is a review one. We're going over activities. So, let's go to 1U3.01 to refresh our minds a little bit about our activities. And we're also going to learn a few new ones today. So, 1U3. Dot zero one tiny cards pawn duolingo point com. Guest teacher, please pause the video and set a timer for the students to work for five minutes on their Chromebooks on tiny cards on lesson one U three dot zero one. Add or fermez vos Chromebooks, s'il vous plaît, et ouvrez vos agendas. Fermez vos Chromebooks et ouvrez vos agendas. So aujourd'hui, I can say what my family members like and dislike to do and why. Okay, or you can put like family members activities if you're feeling lazy. Okay, so I can say what my family members like uh, or dislike to do and why. We're writing this in our planners give you a few moments to do that. Okay. Alors, une révision. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Drôle? Drôle. Sérieux? Sérieuse. Travailleur. Travailleuse. Paresseux. Paresseuse. Content. Contente. Triste. Triste. Jeune. Jeune. Âgé. Âgé. Gentil. Gentille. Méchant, méchante. Four, fort. Faible, faible. Timide, timide. Sociable, sociable. Grand, grande. Petit, petite. Bête, stupide, intelligent, intelligente. Gros, grosse, mince, mince. Énervant, énervante, amusant, amusante, sympa. Beau, Belle, lead, lead. Barbon, barbante. Intéressant, intéressante. Jolie, jolie. Moche, moche. Patient, patiente. Impatient. Impatiente. Égoïste. Égoïste. Généreux. Généreuse. 
Mignon, mignonne. Comment est-elle? Elle est jolie et mignonne. Elle n'est pas faible ni bête. Bien, répétez. Comment est-il? Il est beau et fort. Il n'est pas énervant ni égoïste. Excellente. Alors, ouvrez vos paquets, s'il vous plaît. Ouvrez vos paquets et allez sur vos focus. Okay, so today for our focus, écrivez vos réponses en phrases complètes en français. So you're answering these five questions in full sentences in French. So question number one. Comment s'appelle ta sœur? So what's your sister's name? If you don't have one, just make it up. Who do you wish was your sister? Number two. Quel âge a-t-elle? How old is she? Number three, elle est comment? So, describing your sister, what she like? Give me at least four descriptions. Number four, il y a combien de personnes dans ta famille? So, how many people are in your family? And cinq, combien de frères as-tu? How many brothers do you have? Guest teacher, please pause the video and set a timer for the students to work for five minutes on their focus in their packet. They are answering these five questions with full sentences in French. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at our answers. So number one, you could have either put ma soeur s'appelle and your sister's name, or you could have written elle s'appelle and then your sister's name. Number two was asking about age. So we should have elle a and then the number and then en for years. Descriptions, hopefully we had our sentences combined. So maybe we had a elle est Description, a description, el n'est pas, description, ni description. Just make sure you used est, a for your verb instead of sui, because that is am. And we don't want to say she am, we want to say she is. And then pay attention, double check, make sure if you did write fours, make sure you have a ni and i with your ne pas sandwich sentences. Number four, you should have Ilia. Remember, that's our cowboy sound for there is Ilia. Then the number, person, dans ma famille. For number five, you can have J, and then the number of frères. Or if you don't have any brothers, you should have written Je n'ai pas de frère. Je n'ai pas de frère. So let's go ahead, color in our traffic light, rouge. Jaune ou vert, for I can describe my family. So rouge, I am not getting this. I need some extra help. Jaune, I can do this looking at my notes. Vert, I've got this. I'm ready for our exam coming up. So coulerier le feu d'artifice, color in your traffic light, for I can describe my family. Add or let's go over some of this vocabulary. Some of these activities are going to be the same ones we've already learned. Some are going to be new, like this one. Répétez, faire du shopping. Faire une promenade. Faire une sieste. Cuisiner. Jouer aux échecs. Téléphoner. Danser. Okay. And we're on anglais. I think we're just going to go over our new ones because your other activities we should know super well by now. So, téléphoner on anglais. To telephone or to talk on the phone. So, like, if your grandma likes talking on the phone like mine does, you can say today that she likes to talk on the phone. On anglais, jouer aux échecs. Jouer aux échecs. Ok, 
Very good to play chess. En anglais, cuisiner, c'est comme cocinar en espagnol. Cuisiner to cook. Bien. Alors, faire une sieste. I'm taking a siesta, a nap. Très bien. Faire une promenade. This one's to go for a walk. Faire du shopping. Just what it sounds like to go shopping. Bien, let's do those ones again. Répétez. Faire du shopping. Faire une promenade. Faire une sieste. Cuisiner. Jouer aux échecs. Téléphoner. Danser. Dessiner. Remember, that's to draw. Manger. Répéter. Écouter. De la musique. Jouer au basket. Jouer au foot. Jouer au football américain. Jouer au jeu vidéo. Chanter. I hope you guys are doing the actions. I'm doing them too. Parler anglais. Parler français. Parler espagnol. Étudier. Nager. Envoyer des textos. Voyager, aller au cinéma, regarder la télé, regarder Netflix, nettoyer, travailler, dormir, Faire du skateboard. Faire les devoirs. So doing homework. Maybe you have a sibling who likes to do that. Faire du sport. Bien. Répétez. Faire de la musique. Lire. Sortir. Avec des amis. Excellent. So let's go ahead and review these. So if you could please open up your Chromebook, we're going to Google Classroom. And under Classwork, the tab, you're going to scroll down to Unit 5. And you're going to click on the link that says Practice Activities Quizlet. So again, Google Classroom, Classwork tab, Unit 5, Practice Activities Quizlet. You can pick any of those games to play, or if you're really just struggling with the vocab, you can go through um, the cards as they're flashcards and just practice and listen to see how those sound. Guest teacher, please pause the video, set a timer for the students to work for five minutes on their Chromebooks. They should be on Quizlet. How are we feeling with our activities? Ça va bien? Ça va comme ci, comme ça, ou ça va mal? Okay, bien. Alors, répétez. Faire du shopping. Faire une promenade. Faire une sieste. Cuisiner. Jouer aux échecs. Téléphoner. Parce que c'est amusant. Parce que c'est barbant. Parce qu'il est barbant. Let's take a second. Let's look at these. What's the difference between parce que c'est barbant and parce qu'il est barbant? Touch your nose when you've got it. Okay, so parce que c'est barbant. 
because it is boring. Parce qu'il est barbon, because he is boring. Très okay, bien. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. Répétez. Parce que c'est facile. Parce que c'est difficile. Parce que c'est intéressant. Parce que c'est ennuyeux. Parce que c'est divertissant. Parce que c'est relaxant. Parce que c'est nul. Parce que c'est drôle. Parce qu'il est âgé. So because he's old. Parce qu'il est âgé. Oh, je m'excuse. Répétez. Parce qu'elle est âgée. Because she's old. Bien. Répétez. Amé. J'aime. Il aime. Elle aime. So notice, same spelling for I like, he likes, and she likes for our verb ami. Répétez, je n'aime pas, il n'aime pas, elle n'aime pas. Okay, so she doesn't like, he doesn't like. I don't like. Don't get these mixed up. Adore. Bien. Répétez. Il adore. Il aime beaucoup. Il aime un peu. Il n'aime pas tellement. Il déteste. Okay, tell me what they mean. What's il adore? He loves. Good. Il aime beaucoup. Bien, he likes a lot. What about il aime un peu? He likes it a little. Il n'aime pas tellement? He doesn't really like it. And then il déteste? He detests or hates it. Good. Répétez. Elle adore? Elle aime beaucoup? Elle aime un peu? Elle n'aime pas tellement? Elle déteste. Bien. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il aime faire? Et pourquoi? Okay, this should look really familiar, like a different question we learned. Earlier this school year, does it kind of look like qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire et pourquoi? So, qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire et pourquoi was what do you like to do and why? Qu'est-ce qu'il aime faire et pourquoi is what does he he like to do and why. So we're going to ask in basically the same way. We're going to answer in basically the same way. We're going to say, répétez, il aime. And then whatever activity he likes. And then we'll give our reason. Parce que, dot, 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 whatever our reason is. Alors, répétez, qu'est-ce que ton père aime faire? Et pourquoi? Répétez, qu'est-ce que ton père aime faire? Et pourquoi? Alors, une traduction en anglais, s'il vous plaît. Traduction en anglais. So, you're telling me what it means. So, what if I say, mon père aime beaucoup faire la sieste. So, my dad likes to nap a lot. Good. Parce qu'il est âgé. En anglais. Because he is old. Good. Répétez. Qu'est-ce que ton frère aime faire? Et pourquoi? Good. That's kind of a tongue twister. Qu'est-ce que ton frère aime faire? Alors, traduction en anglais. En anglais. Mon frère Eric aime courir d'or. So, my brother Eric likes to run where? Outside, door, good. Parce que c'est amusant. Because it's fun, bien. Alors, répétez. Qu'est-ce que ton frère aime faire? 
Et pourquoi? Alors, traduction en anglais, en anglais, dites-moi en anglais. Mon frère Marc aime un peu jouer au foot. So, my brother Mark likes to play soccer a little bit au parc, at the park, parce qu'il est sportif. Because he is sporty. So notice we don't have to just say parce que c'est amusant, parce que c'est drôle. We can give other reasons why they include descriptions. And we've got lots of details in this sentence. So all of these that we're seeing are definitely examples of force. Alors, répétez s'il vous plaît. Qu'est-ce qu'elle aime faire? Et pourquoi? Elle aime parce que. Alors, bien répétez. Qu'est-ce que ta mère aime faire? Et pourquoi? Alors, traduction, traduction, s'il vous plaît. Ma mère aime beaucoup faire une promenade. So, my mom likes to go on walks a lot. L'après-midi. In the afternoon. Parce que c'est relaxant. Good job, because it's relaxing. Alors, traduction en anglais, s'il vous plaît. Ma mère adore lire. Good, my mama loves to read. La nuit, at night, parce que c'est divertissant. Because it's entertaining, bien. Alors, répétez, répétez. Qu'est-ce que ta soeur aime faire? Et pourquoi? Alors, traduction en anglais. Ma soeur aime faire de la musique. My sister likes to make music, play an instrument. Parce qu'elle est créative. Good, that's a cognate because she is creative. Excellent. Bravo. Kiss those brains. Alors, répétez, qu'est-ce qu'il n'aime pas faire? Et pourquoi? So what are we asking there, guys, in English? What are we asking there? Good. What does he not like to do and why? And so that one we're going to answer with another no pas sandwich. Il n'aime pas parce que. Par exemple, répétez, or... Oui, on peut répéter. Alors, répéter. Mon père n'aime jamais faire du shopping parce que c'est barbon. Alors, répéter. Mon frère Eric n'aime pas téléphoner parce qu'il est timide. Good. Alors, répéter. Mon frère Marc N'aime pas nettoyer parce que c'est ennuyeux. Qu'est-ce qu'elle n'aime pas faire? Et pourquoi? Bien, répétez. Elle n'aime pas parce que. Alors, répétez. Ma mère n'aime pas envoyer des textos. Try that a little bit smaller chunks. Ma mère. N'aime pas envoyer des textos parce que c'est difficile. I know you're thinking it's not hard, but it is hard for her. So don't judge. Alors, répétez. Ma soeur déteste jouer aux jeux vidéo parce que c'est nul. Très bien. Alors, avec votre partenaire de coude. Avec votre partenaire de coude. So explain why the following family members like or dislike these activities and why. So you're going to have a picture of the family member and a picture of the activity. And you need to say if your family member likes that activity or not and why. So what if you have more than one brother? Pick one of them and talk about them. What if you don't have a brother? Make one up and talk about him, okay? Because remember, it's not about saying what's like true per se in French. It's about showing off what you know how to say. So let's practice what you know how to say.
Alors, répétez. Qu'est-ce que ton frère aime faire? Mon frère aime écouter de la musique parce que c'est relaxant. Mon frère n'aime pas écouter de la musique parce qu'il est barbant. Good, because he is boring, not because listening to music is boring. Alors, qu'est-ce que ton frère aime faire? So our elbow partner that is closer to the screen is going to be asking first. The person closer to the back will be answering. And then if you're fast, let's go ahead and try to switch. I'm planning on giving you enough time that both of you can ask and both of you can answer. So, qu'est-ce que ton frère aime faire? Trois, deux, un, go. Ta sœur. Ton oncle. Ta mère. Excellent. Bien, merci. Okay, so let's take a look at what our sentences should look like for our family members' likes and dislikes. Um, if you're just giving me sort of one-word answers, that's a one. Twos, you're trying to get the sentence, but you're not quite there. You're going to get a three if you can give me a simple sentence, like maybe mon père aime faire la sieste, my dad likes to take naps, or mon frère aime jouer au basket, my brother likes to play basketball, c'est amusant. It's fun. To get a four, we need to have multiple details. Mon père aime faire la sieste parce qu'il est vieux. Mon frère aime jouer au basket parce que c'est amusant. We can also add our when words, our with whom words, our why words. Any extra details you can include is going to help bump you up to a four. So let's go ahead and practice. Let's try and get some force. So uh, turn it on page 9 dans vos paquets. Turn it on page 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Turn it on page 9. Okay. I think this is our last question on this page. So answer the question. Qu'est-ce qu'il aime faire or qu'est-ce qu'elle aime faire et pourquoi? For your six family members that you picked. And feel free to make up things they like if you need to. Like if you don't know what your uncle likes to do and you've been writing about your uncle, like cool, make it up. Like I don't know what your uncle likes to do either. So it's not a big deal. So let's look. I have some examples in yellow of what we're writing. So some examples for my sister that would work. I could put elle aime regarder Netflix parce que c'est relaxant. Elle aime faire de la musique parce qu'elle est créative. Elle n'aime pas jouer aux jeux vidéo parce que c'est nul. So those are some ideas. If I were you, I would most definitely have out my unit 3 sentence building cheat sheet to help you. Guest teacher, please pause the video, set a timer, and allow students to work for 8 minutes on page 9. They should be writing in French 
about what activities their family members like to do in their packets on page 9. Okay, how we feel in writing? Ça va bien? Ça va comme si, comme ça? Ou ça va mal? Ça va bien, ça va comme si, comme ça? Ça va bien pour la plupart? Bien. Adore. Avec votre partenaire, the coude encore. So, same thing, we just wanted to break it up a little bit. So, explain why the following family members like or dislike these activities and why. This first one, we're going to do your cat. So, what does your cat like to do? Take a nap or not take a nap? And why? You're going to tell me why your cat, real or imaginary, likes or doesn't like to take naps. Okay, so qu'est-ce que ton chat aime faire? Avec votre partenaire de coude. So elbow partner closer to the smart board is asking in toi, de un, go. Grande mère. Grande père. And jouer aux échecs. Jouer aux échecs. Ta mère. Excellent. Alors, classe, voici Marc. C'est mon frère, pas ton frère, c'est mon frère. Et il a 24 ans. Dun, da, 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 da. Il a 24 ans. Il est de Caseville. Il n'est pas de West Valley, il est de Caseville. Il est américain. Il aime jouer au foot. Il n'aime pas nettoyer. Okay, so let's look at what these sentences mean. Let me see if I can get a magical link button. Okay. Well, that just highlights my clicks. Let's try. Focus mouse. Okay, en anglais. Voici Marc. Here's Marc. C'est mon frère. Good. It's my brother. What about this one? Il a 24 ans. Bien. He's 24 years old. Il est de Caseville. He's from Caseville. Il est américain. Bien. Il aime jouer au foot. Il aime jouer au foot. Uh -huh. Et il n'aime pas nettoyer. He doesn't like to clean. Excellent. Alors, tournez à la page 11, s'il vous plaît. Tournez à la page 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Tournez à la page 11, s'il vous plaît. OK, here it says that you need to pick six family members. You're going to write about three male relatives on the left because I started the sentences for you and those sentences all start with il on the left. So make sure three male relatives on the left and then you're going to write about three female relatives on the right. You're going to tell me their name in the first line, 
their relationship to you on the second line, their age on line number three, then you're going to say their city, then their nationality, something they like to do, and if you're feeling fancy, add some more details like with whom, where, when, why, and something that they don't like to do. Again, if you don't know about that family member, like how old they are or what they like to do, just make it up. I don't know how old they are and I don't know what they like and don't like to do either. Okay, so again, we should have three on the left, three on the right. On the screen, you have an example of writing about a boy. In your packet on page 11, the top right box, you have an example writing about a girl. So guest teacher, please pause this video. It shouldn't take students more than 10 minutes to do this at the very most. You can pause the video and give them 12 minutes, but like I said, they should be able to do it in 10 minutes since they're just filling in details and not writing the sentences. And you can go ahead and press play when it's been 10, but no more than 12 minutes. Just check in with them and see when they are ready to continue. Okay, bien. Maintenant, on va faire la chaîne. So if you guys are feeling fancy and you remember how to do our chain, that's when we line up in two lines facing each other. And then the person at the top of the line goes to the other line and the person at the back of that line moves over to the other line and we kind of rotate partners. So if you guys are feeling competent in that, you can do the chain and you can do that for four minutes, have the guest teacher pause the video and do that for four minutes. If you're like, Miss Carol, like we cannot do this chain without you, that is okay. Option number two is you need to talk to four different people and the guest teacher would give you one minute per person. So they'd set a timer for one minute, they'd say go, and then you'd need to ask all these questions. Como sapeltil or tell, and you can point to one of their boxes on page 11. And then they'll tell you, and then you'll ask, Qui est-ce que? Quel âge a-t-il? Il est doux? Il est de quelle nationalité? Qu'est-ce qu'il aime faire? Qu'est-ce qu'elle n'aime pas faire? And you'd answer, and you'd need to do that all in 30 seconds because for the second 30 seconds of the minute, that person should, you should be asking that person. Okay? So let's practice how this would be. So first partner is going to ask, répétez, comment s'appelle-t-il? Oh, voici Marc. Qui est-ce que? Il est mon frère. Quel âge a-t-il? Il a 23 ans. Il est d'où? Il est de Caseville. Il est de quelle nationalité? Il est américain. Qu'est-ce qu'il aime faire? Il aime jouer au foot. Qu'est-ce qu'il n'aime pas faire? Il n'aime pas nettoyer. Good. So that should take you about 30 seconds. And then for the next 30 seconds, we'd switch jobs. So if you were asking, now it's your turn to answer. So let's practice. We're going to do this with the top right example on page 11 with Diana, okay? Répétez. Comment s'appelle-t-elle? Voici Diana. Qui est-ce que? C'est ma sœur. Or we could say, elle est ma sœur. Quel âge a-t-elle? Elle a 12 ans. Elle est doux? Elle est de Detroit. Elle est de quelle nationalité? Elle est américaine. Qu'est-ce qu'elle aime faire? Elle aime aller au cinéma avec des amis. Qu'est-ce qu'elle n'aime pas faire? Elle n'aime pas manger. Parce que c'est difficile. 
Okay. Yeah. So again, two options. You can try and do the chain. If you're not filling up for it, have the guest teacher pause the video and you're going to do this four times for one minute per partner. So guest teacher, please pause the video and I'm guessing they're going to want to do this four different times for one minute with a different partner each time. So they should be asking and answering about someone on page 11. I do If we got some time left, let's go ahead and play some Shifu Mi. Okay, so our first round of Shifu Mi. Winner has to ask all those questions. Loser is going to answer all those questions. And then we'll do another round talking more specifically about a brother. Okay, so again with Shifu Mi, what's going to happen is you're going to stand up, walk around the classroom until the music stops. When the music stops, you're going to get back to back with a partner. Then you're going to go Shifu Mi. Winner is going to ask all the questions and loser is going to have to answer all of those questions. So let's really quickly practice them. Répétez, il y a... Combien de personnes dans ta famille? Il y a six personnes dans ma famille. Combien de frères as-tu? J'ai deux frères. Combien de sœurs as-tu? J'ai une sœur. Comment s'appelle ta sœur? Elle s'appelle Kirsten. Quel âge a-t-elle? Elle a neuf ans. Comment est-elle? Elle est belle et petite. Elle n'est pas méchante ni égoïste. Qu'est-ce qu'elle aime faire? Et pourquoi? Elle aime faire une sieste l'après-midi. Parce que c'est relaxant. Good. Okay, so again, music starts. We're going to walk around. When the music stops, we're getting back to back with the partner. She fool me. Winner asks all the questions. Loser answers all of those questions. So let's get up and get moving. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, music stop. Do a do. Do a do. Hurry, hurry, find a partner. Ador, she fool me. Winner asks, loser answers. Okay, next round. Keep, keep walking. Je 
Oh, music stop. Back to back with a different partner this time. Doado. Get back to back, not face to face. Back to back. At or Shifumi. Winner asks, loser answers. Notice our questions changed. Excellent. Return to your seats. Let's go ahead and clean up. If it's the last two minutes of class, great job today, guys.